Hi friends, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and in today's video I am so excited to share with you guys a new journal collection that I have been working really hard on for the past two weeks I think it took me all together and so these are Christmas journals. However, as you will see I tried to make them, at least some of them, I have six in total, I tried to make some of them more generic or more universal in a way so that if you celebrate Christmas and want to use them for Christmas you absolutely can but if you don't and you just want a junk journal maybe wintery themed or maybe just nature themed uh, you also would be able to use it and um, very easily just repurpose it into any other theme and so as usual as per usual with my flip through videos I will have chapters for you guys in the description box uh, so if you want to like skip to uh, the flip through right now or to any of the covers uh, you can do that you are very welcome to do that uh, but uh, I just wanted to First, um, just chat about some Etsy information because I am going to be selling these on my Etsy um, site and also just about some specifics for these journals if you are interested. So these journals are going to go uh, on sale in my Etsy shop, uh, I believe this Friday or Saturday. However, the the actual date and time and time zone you will find below this video in the description box. So at this point when I am filming this <clears throat> I am not yet sure when I will be able to post them but by the time you see this video the exact time and the date will be in the description box and yeah they will all be listed separately and I will uh, as we go through them I will kind of um, tell you guys what names they are going to be um, listed by in the Etsy shop for just quicker reference um, and these are just going to be the colors of the of the covers really to make it as easy as possible. So some specifics about these journals um, and one more thing uh, that I just want to share with you guys is that I actually while making these journals I chose one and I actually filmed a video like a whole from start to finish uh, video showing you guys how I made these exact journals and I mean this one specifically we will see it in a moment and I should be able to edit this video and share it with you guys next week. So either Monday or Wednesday, uh, probably Wednesday, I would say, will be uh, a like a comprehensive tutorial for tutorial for exactly this journal, and. Um, yeah, and it's it's in theory it's going to be a Christmas journal, but you know the techniques I am sharing are universal. I use the same techniques, or I would use the same techniques for any theme. Uh, if I just wanted to make a hand painted. Um, journal with you know with papers we go through all of the steps of making these journals so i am so excited about this video and i can't wait to start editing it and putting all of the clips together so yeah this will be coming so these journals are all made from scratch i made the covers from scratch and i have my uh, my little notebook here <laughs> with some specifics. So these are A5 size with six centimeter spine or in inches that would be about uh, eight and a quarter by about five and three quarters with a two and a half inch spine about. Uh, and they have, they all have three signatures and 148 pages so just short of 150 uh, pages they are undecorated inside meaning like I, I did decorate the page edges as you can see but there is no ephemera inside however and so I will sell them and price them as undecorated. However, I am making uh, some goodie packs, um, kind of like Christmas gifts for my customers. So each journal will come with like a free 
freebie uh, goodie pack uh, of ephemera that you can just put in a journal and decorate the journal yourself. So I think maybe I will start moving them away so I can I can show you guys and I think I will start with the one that we made on camera together in this video that um, I will share next week uh, because I feel that this one is the most Christmassy in terms of like colors. Uh, we have a green, we have a red, we have the poinsettia. Is it the correct way to say to say this flower's name? So we have those flowers, um, and yeah. So all of these jars. So this one is going to be called red, just just like that, uh, in the Etsy listing. All of these journals have a frame here uh, in the front. They have a, an image. They have some collaging with some three D elements. They have uh, all of the different like media on the cover, and uh, yeah. So let's start with red and let me give you just a close-up look. So we have those flowers, we have flowers here, buttons, here is a like a vintage uh, sari uh, scrap of fabric, some more flowers here, here is the spine. So you see there is paint, there is some cracks and gold uh, was my like base color, then there is some gold leaf here and then here and I love how um, distressed it looks. I really do. Um, I went around with gilding wax for all of them uh, so all of them have gold all around and then the charms oh and I will just mention that the charms for the spine is the only thing that thing that I did not include in the video tutorial just because I made a tutorial on Patreon uh, for how I make my charms uh, last year so it's there um, like yeah just just <laughs> just like that so so it's there but everything else I shared and uh, we have some wooden beads we have some um, some gold some some stars I love those those little star beads okay and so when we open her up uh, I love I love this this effect of all of the pages uh, so we have um, the back and the front with beautiful Christmassy paper the spine area is also lined with paper and I also added lace to to decorate it um, and in this journal and in most of them I used my digital kit botanical Christmas and all of my kits are currently on sale for you guys so if you would like to grab it uh, then you are welcome to do so on sale and so the first we have three signatures and the first page of each signature will have this like double flower I used two of those paper flowers together and added a little bit uh, of like faux crystal uh, or faux little shining bit <laughs> uh, in, as, as the center and yeah so let's flip through this we have some antique um, beautiful antique uh, book pages this mm, scrapbooking paper is super fun because it's, it's textured and so it feels a little bit like uh, like fabric I, I love it we have some crinkly uh, coffee paper some actual vintage ledger paper which I think would be so perfect to write here. Um, I think it would look so pretty. Um, this is from Botanical Christmas, a journaling spread. Is it too bright? Let me try to maybe make it less bright. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a page from an Edith Holden like family book, something like that. So um, there are some of her illustrations and there is a space for journaling. Um, this uh, scrapbooking paper is actually foiled, so also textured, but yeah, it's just, it's shiny. Not sure if the camera is picking it up. This is a stunning piece of uh, mulberry paper. It's, oh, it's scrumptious. I love it. Um, vintage ledger, a book page 
which is the center of the signature and the other sides. Oh, this paper, you guys, stunning. Um, then what I used on the um, sides for, I believe, all of them, I used some lace, which is not vintage, but then all of the fabrics that I used are actually vintage sari fabrics. Um, there are some appliques here, if you guys can see, so I love it. Botanical Christmas. Oh, this texture paper. And this, this book page is just so stunning, and also the texture is incredible. Uh, I also left quite a bit of space uh, in between the signatures, which just means that you can safely expand it and you can safely just keep adding things and it will still just stay closed, you know. Um, so I think that's important. More antique book pages. This one was very frail, very delicate, so I reinforced it with some uh, washi tape. Edith Holden. Some really pretty scrapbooking cardstock, ledger paper, uh, more antique book pages. Book pages mm, with vintage illustrations. Uh, this wreath comes from uh, Botanical Christmas. And as always with my journals, this is straw paper, Italian straw paper that I got from Rachel at, um, oh my goodness, how did I, uh, Roxy Creations, oh my goodness, brain um, um, error. <laughs> Um, forgot uh, forgot the name of her channel. I don't know how and her shop. Uh, so as always with my with my journals, I tried to. Oh, this, is, this is a stunning book page, also from Rachel's shop. Uh, as always with with my journals, I tried to have a variety of different uh, papers and different. Oh, there are some loose threads here. Um, and different textures. So every single page has a different texture to it. They are very tactile and they also have really nice sounds, all of them. Uh, these book pages are actually from a botanical book and um, I think all of them uh, I chose from like winter uh, plant section. A lot of space for journaling, a super cute spread for the middle here. And this is the end of this one. So this one uh, is going to be called Red in the Etsy shop. And let's go with the one that I have here uh, closest to me. And this is a strong contender for my favorite one out of this collection. And it's funny because it didn't start like that, but Ultimately, I just love how it looks. So we have this gorgeous image of those uh, fawns and some cabin and those snowy trees. Um, I also added those beautiful appliques from Indian sari fabrics. We have some of those flowers. And now the frame, the base color was dark brown. Then I added this like grayish brownish, which for me, um, this color, the main color here, it looks like tree bark covered with snow and then I also added gold and I also added some white splatters to kind of mimic snow so uh, also not sure yeah you should be able to see on camera but I added some stenciling it's more visible here to mimic snowflakes and this just looks like like a tree bark I just absolutely love it and the charms for this one are all of the gold and brown colors very warm very pretty we have some again some different beads some wooden ones and yeah I just love the sound of it <laughs> And all of the charms, they are quite loose here, so you can easily just, um, just you know, have them like that uh, when you are journaling, so they go won't get in uh, your 
uh, away. Okay, so here is the inside, the papers of the front and the back. We have some really nice kind of looks like wood grain with some like sweater or some embroidery uh, pattern here in the spine area. This is once again botanical Christmas and the, some journaling spa space antique book page exactly the same types of papers just obviously different um, different patterns and so on this is stunning it's foiled so it's shiny textury this beautiful mulberry paper i got a pack of um i think a hundred sheets of mulberry paper from amazon so i just searched on amazon and um, it's stunning you guys it's stunning so i'm very happy to to be adding it to to my journal so that i can share it with you oh, i love this wood grain it's the start of the second signature so this one is more sort of brown and white or cream oh, this book page is amazing and um you know those those colors that kind of match the cover very warm very cozy in my opinion more book pages again reinforced with washi tape this uh, metal spread is for botanical christmas Edith Holden, antique book pages. The feeling of these book pages is out of this world, you guys. <laughs> Beautiful paper with some, if you can see, some little plants and some petals. Um, some or well I try to include as many um, of those coffee papers uh, that had some imprint um, uh, like, like lace and some of them have a little bit of shimmer because I used some shimmer mists when I was making them so a little bit of an imprint here wood grain papers I just love how they look we have this little guy here in the middle straw paper ledger paper book pages we love how this turned out different sizes different textures and this is this so this one is going to be called brown in the etsy shop and let's see about this one. I am going to call this one navy and oh, I love it too. I, I just love the busyness of the super like cozy image here and the, the color, how it stands out. I don't know. I love it, you guys. <laughs> I hope you do too. So here is the close up. Like that. Um, the base color here again was gold and the main color is this like navy navy blue I would call it so this one yeah it's going to be called navy and here is how it looks on the back I just love it and the charms for this one uh, include some darker colors and also uh, some really pretty navy beads focus please okay so this is the inside we have uh, front and back and also the page here all of them have a lace uh, lining um, just some different types of lace botanical Christmas again the same thing as the previous ones which is different Patterns of scrapbooking paper, different colors. Oh, this. 
different book pages, although from the same uh, book. Again, a lot of journaling space. I think um, for me, um, I would probably use it like if you don't have like a ton of things to document, I would probably use it maybe like for three years. So each signature could be your uh, like documenting one year or maybe even half a signature. Or if you have a lot, then um, by all means, you can use all of it. And this super cute antique book page. This one have this dark brown mulberry paper, super nice to touch and very, very pretty. The middle. This one has a little applique here as well. And that's the end. So this was navy. Okay, so maybe let's see one that uh, I would say is the least Christmassy of the whole collection, more wintry, but also just nature. Can be Christmas, can be winter, can be nature, anything you like. And so we are going to call this one a turquoise. And so turquoise has this super nice fluffy uh, fabric flower with a little enamel dot as the center. Some of those cute flowers, this beautiful, beautiful vintage applique uh, from an Indian fabric. And so the frame, I did some decoupage uh, in addition to like painting and adding gold foil. Um, I added some decoupage for the frame. Here you can see some more on a spine. And then this one has this stunning owl uh, on the back, decoupaged. I love her so much. Um, this was from a napkin that was very kindly gifted to me and it just matched so perfectly for like a wintry journal, I think. And then the charms, we have some kind of like turquoise stones. Um, he some minty green kind of minty blue uh, type of beads and then golds and silvers and stars all the good stuff so this one um, actually has a different kit of mine and this one is called fairy tale Christmas and I love it like those pages they are like so dreamy i think with the colors and also they look for me like like patterns on a frosted window when the sun is rising and everything is just shimmery blue and pink um and and you have all of those patterns on on your window i just love it and we have some wood grain in the spine and some lace here so this is fairy tale Christmas and we have our flowers. This one of course has more like blue tones and for this one I love how this looks. I used some sari silks uh, with lace. So fairy tale Christmas. Mulberry paper. Vintage ledger. Beautiful. <laughs> Here is the second signature. 
of beautiful lace impressions on the coffee paper. This one is also foiled, probably not visible on camera, but it is. So definitely more blue and like pink and kind of like more frosty colors, um, but some warmer ones with those wood grains too. Here we have the gorgeous fairy tale Christmas village <laughs> for, for the middle of the signature. third signature. This paper I love. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, this is a beautiful paper with this violet petals. And this is super cozy. Get a little sweater. We have this for the middle. Very pretty. And this is the end. So this one is going to be called turquoise. Now let's see the pink one. Uh, it's going to be called just pink in the Etsy listing and I love this one as well. So we have this here the really nice image in the frame, some more flowers and I added some gold on those flowers which I think is super nice and uh, we have the... oh I actually have a video decorating this particular cover um, so for the video that I showed you, that I told you guys is going to go up next week we are going to be um, creating this red journal but if you would like to see some more ideas and see how I decorated this one uh, the video is up on Patreon or oh, maybe this this way you can see the cracks and the like unevenness and yeah and look at this, isn't this just so gorgeous? The charms for this one include a few red beads, some pink, and of course, again, gold, my little stars. And then when we open it up, we have the super stunning paper uh, in the uh, front and the back, and then some pink. Um, in the spine area and then uh, some lace here not sure if it's visible but oh this this is so fun and so pretty okay so botanical Christmas again And this is a beautiful fabric that was gifted to me. It has some like shiny elements. This, oh, you guys, isn't this just gorgeous? This mulberry paper, handmade paper. And it matches this journal just perfectly with this pinkish, reddish color of the petals. Some threads are coming out, but it's stitched here, so it's not going to fray all the way. Also, I love I love all the threads like from machine stitching and from those fabrics, so I left them, but everything is kind of securely stitched, like I double stitched or triple stitched in the same place so you can uh, easily just snip them off if you don't like them and uh, the stitching will stay in place. Sorry you guys, I got cut off but I think we were somewhere here. And I 
love how this page turned out. All of these book, book pages, those um, antique book pages, or I think at least the majority of them is in Italian. So I really tried to have like different color schemes for all of these journals, different um, tones, so that oh, this is super cute. Um, so that everyone would be able to find to find something for themselves, something they like, even if you um, are not like a traditionally Christmassy person. Um, I still wanted to have some pinks and some uh, blues and turquoise. Alrighty, and then this is the last one. It is going to be called green in the Etsy listing. And so this is what it looks like. And again, I have some, uh, some beautiful, beautiful appliques or like pieces of, of fabric here, which I just love. And the base color of it was like very light pink, and then I covered it with this uh, with this green. So here is the spine, and here is the back. Here you can see more of the pink, um, and I just love how text textured it is, um, and some gold leaf. And then this I also just love. <laughs> Okay, oh, the charms for the green include some green beads, of course, some pinks, some of those cute big ones. So it looks like that. Okay. And then uh, I used, I had another sheet of this stunning paper, so I used it um, here and the pink one in the spine, some lace here. And again, we have uh, the first page from Botanical Christmas. Foiled scrapbooking paper, mulberry paper, ledger. This is an actual vintage ledger paper and the texture again is it's really really nice. I love to add it to my own journals too and um, journal on it, write on it. This, this page, like I love how torn it is kind of natural tearing. I, I didn't do it. I had it like that. Natural staining of this page. Oops, are we in focus? Okay, I think so. Botanical Christmas for the center. Oh, I love this fabric so much. And this book page is really pretty too. And the third signature. And so this one is going to be called green in the Etsy listing. Okay, you guys, so that is all that I have to share with you today. I am so happy with how these journals turned out. I haven't done painted, like hand painted covers in some time and it just sparked 
some kind of creativity in me that like I was so inspired making them I enjoyed every single minute so I really hope you guys like them again if you are interested in purchasing uh, one of those there will be information about the Etsy listings in the description box of this video if you would like to see any like more pages any uh, any photos uh, of these journals like or you have any questions uh, please let me know in the description box and I will try to get to uh, all of your questions in time before these um, go up on Etsy but yeah um, thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope uh, maybe um, you know maybe you found it inspiring um, I, I know that I always love just watching other people's um, journal flip throughs uh, it always inspires me so so I hope I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week and I will speak to you guys very soon in the next video bye